Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. A couple of months ago my Leviathan box arrived and I was very excited to get hold of all the new miniatures inside and had a lot of motivation to get them all built and painted. I made a pact with myself that they weren't going to languish in my to-do path for months or years, I was going to get this done. I opened up the box and within a couple of days that everything built. That was about two months ago now and apart from the big screamy killer it was all still grey plastic. So I set myself a challenge to paint all of my Tyranid models in one week. That's the Leviathan box Tyranids minus the Screamer Killer, but with an extra 20 Termagants added in, 66 miniatures in total. It seems to be a bit of a rite of passage for hobby YouTube channels to attempt challenges like this, painting a whole box set in a weekend or a whole army in 24 hours. I genuinely like these videos, I find they give me motivation to work on my own projects. However, I think for most of us attempting something like staying awake and enjoying 48 hours of solid painting isn't realistic. As much as I love painting, I have lots of other things going on in life that mean I simply couldn't do this. I have a full-time job with occasional late nights, two young boys to look after, <laughs> and as I record this, a very pregnant wife. This isn't going to be a full detailed tutorial, I have another video up on the channel for that. This is more of a challenge for myself. Hopefully in a week's time I'll have a nicely painted army and a little less grey plastic. Saturday morning I was up early, I really like this bit of the day, everyone else is asleep upstairs and I get some time to myself to get some work done before dad duties take over. First I needed to do some prep. All the minis had already been cleaned up and had all the mould lines removed when I built them, so it was straight into basing them. I covered all the bases in a thick layer of PVA glue before giving each mini a dunk in my homemade basing material. I have another video up on the channel showing how to make this if you're interested. This actually took quite a while but I now had this stage done. I then gave each base a generous soak with a mix of PVA and gloss varnish thinned heavily with water. This would help make the bases nice and strong when dry. This was going to take some time to completely dry, so by the end of Saturday morning I had to stop working and wait. Nothing else was going to get done today. Sunday morning. The bases were dry and rock solid. This stuff was never going to come off. Coffee first and then on to priming. I gave every miniature a good even coat of black primer through my airbrush. It probably would have been quicker to use a spray can, but this being the UK it was raining outside so this was the only option. Once they were all sprayed and no grey was showing, I left them to cure for a while before setting up for the next step. My wife had taken our boys out to do their weekly gymnastics classes, so I was free to settle in for some more work on the army. This meant a lot more airbrushing. I gave them all a good zenithal highlight with Wraithbone. I really enjoy this process, it's relaxing, and as the white goes on and those details start to show, it really helps to see what I'm working with. So by the end of the weekend I had all of the prep work done. All of the bases were done, everything was primed and the first layer of paint was on. It doesn't seem like a huge amount for two days but as the scheme is pretty simple I was still confident I'd get it done in time. Monday. I had no time in the morning before work to do any painting. It's always a bit manic to get the kids ready for school or in this case their summer camp so no painting was going to happen. That evening though, once they were all asleep and we'd eaten, I sat down for another long airbrush session. All of the minis got a good spray with orange through the airbrush. I already had the scheme worked out with the termagants from the tutorial video that I already did. With the others though, I just made it up as I went along, hitting them with the orange where it just felt natural. Second colour done. I was pretty tired at this point having been at work all day but decided to keep going and move on to the black. I wanted to do as much as possible with the airbrush to keep things moving along quickly. However, with all the really little guys like the Neurogonts and the Rippers, I decided to use a brush for the black as their size would make it too difficult to keep the black paint only where I wanted it. On top of that my airbrush was playing up at this point so I gave up on it. I think it was just probably blocked, so I decided to try and give it a deep clean the next day. Painting in this black actually took a lot longer than I thought it would. 
I stuck at it though, and by the end of that evening, all 15 of the little ones were done. Tuesday. Tuesday was a complete write-off. I left for work early as I needed to be on site about three hour drive from home quite early in the morning. And about two hours into that journey, my tire exploded. This was while doing 70 miles an hour in the middle lane of the motorway. I spent the next hour at the side of the motorway waiting for the recovery truck as it was too dangerous to attempt changing the tire myself. Um, I got some nice pictures of the local bees though. I got rescued and taken to the nearest garage and three hours later I had two new tires and was on my way. Unfortunately I didn't get back home until nearly 10 o'clock that evening and no painting was going to happen at that point. I really felt bad as I'd not managed to get anything done the day before and looking at this huge pile of partly painted tyranids was making this seem like quite a daunting process. Thankfully I was able to get home from work quite early and got some time to myself to get all of the black airbrushed onto the remaining models. Once all the airbrushing was done and out of the way, I went back in with a smaller brush to do all of the little bits like the claws and tidy up any of the little bits that I'd missed. I stayed up late and by the time I went to bed that night I had all of the black blocked in. I felt a lot better at this point as I knew this step was the bit I was least looking forward to. But it was done and I could now concentrate on the next few steps that would really start to make them look more finished. Hi everyone, um, yeah, Thursday was a complete write off, unfortunately. I got stuck at work really late and uh, didn't get home until about 9 o'clock. So I just didn't bother doing any more work on it, unfortunately. So I went really low, really far behind. Um, I am currently out at work down by the seaside on a very grey English day. And uh, yeah, I'm going to head home and hopefully get some more work. So two days in a week where I couldn't get any work done on this challenge. It was not looking promising. Friday was more productive though, and more of the fun steps needed doing. I sponged on the dark grey and then gave all of the black a heavy dry brush with a lighter grey to bring out all the details on the carapace and the claws. I then gave the wings on the Tyranid Prime a wash with some slightly thinned down Carabao Crimson. I wanted his wings to be a slightly different colour and I thought an extra accent colour in the army would make things a little bit more interesting. The Psychophage also got this wash sprayed inside his mouth, again to add some more colour and to make his mouth more fleshy looking. I also added a little more of this wash around the mouth parts of the Neurotyrant as well. It was the end of the day on Friday, it had been a long week but the army was looking much better and I was pretty happy about where I was at at this point. There was still a lot more to do though. Saturday morning, I was up super early and cracked on with spraying white onto everywhere that I would later need to be blue. This would give it a much better base for the colour to work with. When this was done, I then went back to the airbrush, this time using a blue contrast paint and slowly started to build up that colour over the white. By the end of the day on Saturday, all of the colour was on and they were looking pretty good, but still weren't finished. I hadn't made my goal of one week, but as I'd had a couple of setbacks, I let myself off. I was pretty confident I could complete this in one more day. By the end of the weekend, I would have this finished. So it's just coming up to the end of the day on Saturday now. Um, and I'm just blocking all the teeth in and the eyes. And uh, after that, it'll just be a case of just glossing it, putting your wash over and finishing the bases up. So hopefully by the end of the day tomorrow, it will be done. Fingers crossed, anyway. Sunday morning. I painted in all the eyes yellow, and this was sped up a little bit as it turns out quite a few of them don't have eyes. And I also gave all the teeth a quick going over with an off-white. So close to finishing now. They all had a couple of thin coats of gloss varnish applied through the airbrush to protect the paint. I then gave them a coat of streaking grime. I did this in batches, letting the one batch dry while I painted the base of the previous batch black so as not to waste any time. Thankfully it was a hot day so drying time wasn't a problem. The streaking grime was cleaned off each batch and when I was happy with all of them and they'd had time to dry, I started to dry brush the bases with some different greys to build up the colour. 
simple and effective. Here is the result of just over a week's work. If I hadn't lost those two days in the week, I think would have done it easily in time. Still, 66 minis painted in a really short time around work and family commitments. I'm pretty happy with myself for getting them done. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you'd like to see some more pictures of them, please look me up on Instagram. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon.